now we have seen in our last video that omega is the resonance frequency that is 1 by under root lc and at this frequency we get voltage which is equal to the maximum voltage okay so if this is voltage and this is uh, omega this is v so your voltage will be maximum at resonance frequency at omega r okay so at this frequency we will get voltage vm initially voltage v is equal to i divided by y right if i talk about voltage v that is equal to i by admittance right or we can write this as v is equal to i divided by g plus j b now at resonant frequency at resonant frequency this voltage will become vm which should be equal to i divided by at resonant frequency this b will be equal to 0 so we will get g and at this voltage we will get maximum power so what is maximum power here that is vm into i and i is g into vm so we can write this as vm square into g right and at half power frequency at half power frequency at half power frequency we will get pm by 2 okay half power means half of this power so pm by 2 and this will give you vm by root 2 this will be vm by root 2 whole square into g so at half power what will be the voltage voltage is vm by root 2 right vm by root 2 at frequency omega 1 and omega 2 okay so we will get voltage vm by root 2 which is equal to i divided by root 2 g right we will put this value here so this will become i divided by root 2 g now at every frequency we have seen at every frequency this is for common frequency at all frequency okay so this is for all frequency and this is for resonant frequency and this is for half power frequency it means if frequency changes your voltage will change okay now at what frequency we will get uh, this value see this is the voltage right so at what what is the condition when this voltage will become equal to this voltage what will be the condition when this voltage will be equal to this voltage the only condition is there when b is equal to 0 then b will be equal to i by g right so this is possible when b is equal to 0 that is the condition of resonant frequency okay similarly what is the condition when this voltage will become this okay so this voltage will become vm by root 2 at what condition so this is this voltage should be equal to vm by root 2 at what condition see this is i divided by g plus jb this voltage is i divided by g plus jb is equal to is equal to i divided by 
root 2 g right or we can write 1 divided by g plus j b should be equal to 1 divided by root 2 g right so we are taking mod here mod of this value should be equal to this so when this is possible this is only possible when this value should be equal to root 2 g right so square both the sides you will get g square plus b square is equal to 2 g square or we can write or we can write b should be equal to g it means what is b b is omega c minus 1 by omega l this should be equal to mod of this okay mod of this this should be equal to g what is g that is 1 by r okay so this is the condition when this voltage this is the condition when this voltage will reach to the half power half power voltage okay voltage at half power okay so at omega at somewhere omega 1 and omega 2 this is half power frequency your voltage should be reached to this point which is vm by root 2 okay so initially if you need to find resonance frequency just equate this voltage formula with this one if you want to find the condition for half hour frequency you need to equate this voltage with this value okay so the condition at which the condition at which your voltage will become that voltage which is uh, means the voltage will become the voltage at half power frequency at omega c magnitude of omega c minus 1 by omega l is equal to 1 by r why i have taken here magnitude because it can be also written as 1 by omega l minus omega c okay so we got two value here omega c minus 1 by omega l is equal to 1 by r and one is omega uh, 1 by omega l minus omega c is equal to 1 by r okay so this will give you omega square cl minus 1 is equal to omega l by r or we can write omega square cl r minus r minus omega l is equal to 0 this can be written as omega r sorry omega c uh, omega square minus uh, this will be omega divided by rc minus 1 by lc is equal to 0 and omega should be equal to minus b that is 1 by rc plus under root of v square that is 1 by rc square minus 4 ac right so 4 a is 1 and c is minus 1 by lc so this will be 4 by lc divided by 2 way two into one now this can be written as 1 by 2 rc plus 1 by 2 rc whole square plus 1 by lc right now similarly you can find the formula for this also okay so you will get omega is equal to minus 1 by 2 rc plus under root of 1 by 2 rc square so this will be minus 1 by 2 rc plus under root of 1 by 2 rc plus 1 by lc okay so you can easily differentiate between these two frequency this two frequency 
वन इज दिस वन एंड अनदर वन इज दिस वन ओके तो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस टू दिस कंटेन माइनस वन बाई सो यू कैन डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन दिस टू फ्रीक्वेंसी वन इज माइनस वन बाई टू आर सी एंड वन इज प्लस वन बाई टू आर सी सो दिस विल बी ओमेगा वन ओके so one will be minus will be omega 1 this is resonance frequency and this is omega 2 and at this frequency we will get voltage vm this is voltage axis this is frequency axis so this is at uh, this is frequency axis and at omega r you got maximum voltage at omega 1 we will get vm by root 2 at this two frequency we will get vm by root 2 okay so like this we can find half power frequencies and also if you once you know half power frequency you can easily find quality factor also this is bandwidth right which is equal to omega 2 minus omega 1 right so quality factor will be equal to omega not ya yeah, omega r so quality factor will be equal to omega r divided by omega 2 minus omega 